Oh, thank you, Karen, for Messick. You've just ordered my book. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Happy every day. It's Thursday. Um, I'm going to turn the music off. It's Thursday. It's my birthday eve. It's the last day of being 33. And it's happening in lockdown, which is fine. Let's put some lipstick on. I love this lipstick. From Mac, I got one for my mum as well for Mother's Day. This is Tre Blase. I don't know if you can see that. And it's a really beautiful pinky nude, which I think suits me better than a nudey nude. Does that make sense? I had a delivery of books. Let me go get one. So, was it last month? Beginning of last month? I don't even know where we are. Before all this happened, before we went into lockdown, we ordered more copies of the book from the printers and they arrived today. Just had to print more, which is amazing that we had to print more. Um, it's got that new book smell. Mm. So yeah, my book, all black everything. Gorgeous hardback coffee table book. I'm obsessed with the cover, I always have been. It's that black embossed kind of black foil. Hope you can see that. Um, yeah, love it, love it, love it. So that's available to order from my website, uh, which I will link below. I think at the moment I'm doing 10% off uh, with the code thank you 10 because you can still place orders. I'm just not sending them yet, which I've put on my website, but I might start sending them again because uh, I can walk there. So I don't have to drive there. I could do that maybe as part of my daily exercise. But yes, thank you, Karen. You've just ordered one. Someone else ordered one earlier as well. And I know they're still being sold uh, on Saint and Sophia. Uh, so yeah, fantastic. Anyway, what else have we been doing? I've just been up to where we store kind of our boxes of clothes from last year, last season, and just pulled out a load of stuff, including this top, which I forgot how much I love. This was from ASOS. Was it ASOS? No. no. Oh, it was Stradivarius. I did not know that. I love this top. It's that nice, um, what's it called? Brodery Brode Anglais? How oh, I just butchered that. Anyway, it's very cute. It's cropped, but I've got my um, high-waisted, high super high-waisted mom jeans on, and I just love it. So, yeah. I've just pulled that out and I've just grabbed a load of spring, summer appropriate clothing that was from last year, which I will definitely be wearing again this year. So I need to reorganise my rail because this is nice and warm now. So there's a couple of things I need to say goodbye to. And well, not goodbye, just goodbye, you're going in a box. And yeah, I thought you could watch me do that. But what I'm going to do is follow my book. So at the beginning of each chapter uh, for spring, summer, autumn, winter, there's kind of like a collection of basics or essentials or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, it's basically what, what could get you day to day for ice spring. Those key pieces, if you like. So I was going to go through that. And oh, yeah, summer essentials. See? This is what my summer wardrobe will most likely be looking like. Yep, I've got those pieces. Cool, let's just put together a little capsule wardrobe using my book and you can watch me because I'm just trying to kill today because I'm going to be 34 tomorrow. <laughs> and if I have to think about it too much, I'll end up drinking. So, yeah, let's do that. Ignoring this pile of clothes that I have literally just carried it from upstairs and stumped it. That's what we're going to go through. But I just thought I would show you my outfit quickly. Um, so I've got this black top on from Stradivarius, or Stradivarius, and my ASOS slouchy mum jeans, and then these uh, little sliders from Zara, they were last year. So that's my outfit. And I've just curled my hair. And put it in like a little textured ponytail. It is so long. I kind of like it, but I kind of 
just want to get it tidied up because it's slightly unmanageable now. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that is my outfit. So I'm going to set you up and I'm going to organise that mess. It doesn't look like a lot, but it is actually quite a lot. And pull out uh, some pieces that I will not be needing. I'm going to start by taking stuff off the veil. I'm really annoyed because my other little black veil that I use for like photos and and stuff and like outfit planning, my husband's stolen. Can I go and get it? He's just taking it. He's just taking it away from me. He's got like a little set up, so I'm gonna leave. We'll leave that. So what we'll do? We've got a load of. I've got a load of empty hangers. So I have already started to cull a little bit. My Zava basic winter coat. You are no longer required, so you can go in storage. This, it's still a bit chilly in the mornings. Um, so I'll keep that for dog walks. So it's just so cozy. And sometimes if, it, if the house, because it's old, it can get quite cold in the house, which is great in the summer because it keeps you cool. But sometimes you can get a bit chilly, so I'll keep that. We'll keep that. I had this on the other day. I do really love this. It's more, again, like a comfort, like a great little shacket to have on in the house. So... Oh, no, it's, no, it really isn't appropriate now. It's just not appropriate. Beefcake, my nasty girl, Teddy Coat. It's time to take you to bed. My summer essentials. Denim jacket because the weather in the UK is unsuitable. So this is my uh, little black cropped and distressed. So that's my denim jacket. I like it with these jeans. Double denim, but not double denim. Double denim, but not the same colour. Yeah, that's my little denim jacket that we'll be wearing now. Front of my leather. So I've got these ones from Zara again, which I think I've got in blue. I've got these for when we went to California, San Francisco, and then New York, it was really warm. And these were just great. Again, nice high waist. They're not too short. I don't like anything that kind of flashes some cheek. So I've got these from Zara. Oh, yeah. And I've got a blue pair. Because as much as I love wearing black, I like a classic. It's gonna be non-black. It needs to just be kind of classic and not trend red, so blue, just in case, in case the mood strikes me. But what I'm gonna do, these will probably end up in my drawers. They probably won't stay on the rail. But for now, I'm gonna hang one pair up, just so we can see what we've got to work with. And we'll have to do a little draping thing. This is why I don't go on the rail, I don't have hangers. Oh. <laughs> so shorts. This in a minute. Oh, I've got another pair of shorts. Top shop. Oh, these are kind of like the Bermuda short with the raw hem. They're cute. So I've got those as well. So two pairs of shorts. There we go. And then, oh, I've got these more tailored. I think these are Zara again. I think I did a Zara haul before we went away, yeah. Again, these are things I bought in September last year. So not, not that long ago, back end of last summer, because we went away. These are lovely. They've got kind of little button details and pleating. And they've got pockets. They've got pockets. I don't know if I wore these. Got a little pocket on the bum. It's a more like a, a city short. Kind of look like a little skirt, I suppose, because they're quite loose. But yeah, another pair of shorts. 
slightly more um, dressed up. Okie dokie, what's next? Harley jeans from ASOS. Now this, this is the kind of pair, in fact, I have to check, do ASOS do distressed Farley jeans? Because they do. That's what I want in my wardrobe for summer. So yeah, nice high waist. So that's what I wear with this top, usually. Nice high waist um, mom jean. So they can go on, so I'll still wear those until it's too hot and I have to wear shorts. T-shirts. I've got some black t-shirts, of course. I've got this um, Nibble 10 t-shirt from Topshop. Like a nice boxy fit. And I've got an All Saints one. Slightly longer line, uh, the little rolled sleeve. I like options. <laughs> this one is uh, from Topshop again. Quite a, a bit more see-through, so it look cute with a little bralette tucked into denim shorts. And I've got like my Anina Bings and things like that. So that'll do for now. What's this t-shirt? Little cropped t-shirts. Um, again, just for a bit of ventilation with a pair of mom jeans, nice high-waisted jeans. And um, this one I think was from Zara. It's got like a little kind of knot detail. That was cute. A little cropped one. This was from Topshop. This will look nice with these jeans and it's got kind of um, a little corset detail, like a little bralette detail in there. So, as well as t-shirts, I like to have a couple of little vests in the summertime. This one's from Zara. It's got a nice little kind of rib to it. That looks nice with skinny jeans or little pair of denim shorts. This is a little black body from, oh, I've got the label out. Pretty sure this was from Zara. Yeah, oh no, it is from Zara, size small. And it has a lovely deep V. Well, not too deep at the front, but a V at the back, which in the summer is just lovely to show you back off. And it's all brown and tanned. Um, and it has these kind of lace detail along the straps and along the front. And that kind of follows right into the back as well. I think that's really pretty and um, that would pair denim shorts or those little tailored shorts would look cute. Uh, some heels for dinner or even like a nice little pencil skirt. Oh, I've got foundation on my top. Right, what's next? So we've got tops. We've got shorts, summer dresses. Great basic one. This I like to have just to literally just chuck on with some uh, slides, flip flops, whatever. Oh, what's that? I'm gonna hang it up and then I'm gonna go put it in the wash. <laughs> but yeah, this is just H&M. I think these are about eight pounds. Great, just to slip on. Um, you can even just pop that over your bikini if you're on holiday. A uh, pair of slides, a little, little bag, maybe a hat, some sunnies. You can dress it up really easily. So that can go on there. And what's this? Oh. I got this in a Topshop sale. It was £10. And it's like a little romper. It's like a little black linen. So again, really nice and breathable, lightweight, button, button down romper. Um, my little play suit. But I just don't think I wore it in the end. But I would definitely wear that. Comfy around the house, got little pockets last season and it's in sale so you probably can't get hold of it but something like that like a little linen play suit nice and, and loose on the legs easy breezy and that's a whole outfit you only have to put shoes with that and you're done here are the dresses what's this one? Oh, I, oh, I was in the side of france this was from asos it's a button down maxi with a split at the front if I can figure out how to insert pictures, I'll insert a picture of me wearing this on holiday. But it's got the split kind of there. It's really, really lovely. Again, you only have to pop some slides on. Um, and a little handbag and you're good to go. So that's an easy one just to chuck on on holiday or when the weather's glorious in the UK. 
And then our, I think I wore this for James's birthday. Yeah, I think I got this from Topshop. Glamorous. Some of their concessions. I'm missing the tie for it though. It's meant to have a belt. That's annoying. But it's a lovely, I don't know what the material is. It's a gorgeous, I'm going to come close as you can see. It's a really gorgeous fabric. A really lovely summer, little summer dress. Has little splits on the side. It's got a deep V at the front, so great if your chest is minimal like mine. Um, and there's like a lovely little floaty sleeve. Very pretty, very comfortable to wear. Nice and lightweight. This is the thing, you can wear black in the summer. Just got to think about your materials and you're kind of, like I would never wear a black bodycon dress in the summer. It just, it, you're just not gonna be able to breathe. But something floaty, it's polyester. But anyway, yeah, there's that kind of floaty kind of cut. It's perfect. So like that. We've got some little black dresses, all different lengths, all different occasions. Oh, sorry. I'm pooped. I've just run down to the cellar because I forgot I had some bits on the washing line. These look tiny, but they stretch. <laughs> so these, I think they're mint velvet. Mint velvet, not a brand I have really bought anything else from, but these fit amazingly. They're great. Um, they've got a really lovely waistband um, and they're just a great length. They're just perfect um, in the summer. I will, well, I lived in these when I went to America. Um, sorry, I keep referencing San Francisco and New York because that's the last place we went that was warm and that we kind of wore summery clothes before it turned to autumn here. That uh, like we landed in, it was bang, winter. So I'm gonna put those on my veil. I love these. My husband, I can hear him. Oh, and accessories, so I love a little bum bag. So I'd probably wear a little bum bag either crossbody like that, or just hanging on my hips, depending on what I'm doing. But I like that look, so I can go with that. If anyone else actually do this, like put outfits together when they're hanging clothes up. That can go with my shorts. And then the t-shirt I had on the other day was from Arquette, it's such, I probably wouldn't wear this when it's boiling, but on your average spring, summer day, it's just a really lovely, quite a heavyweight t-shirt. So that's from Arquette, and I'd wear that with my cycling shorts. It's that nice kind of oversized on top, fitted on the bottom, but we'll put it with the t-shirts at the back. And then I just grabbed this body. This is my Zara body that everyone's got, the Rosie kind of Huntington Whiteley. Uh, body. I know uh, Hello October has got them in every colour, so has Lydia Millen. Uh, they make them look amazing, so I won't put this on, but that's that kind of nice high neck kind of scoops right there. Uh, that looks great with denim shorts, really, really cute. Denim shorts and a pair of trainers. Where are my sense of ears? Thank you. These look cute. A pair of denim shorts and a little black body, nice, nice and easy. I'm going to take all these off for a moment. I keep this on my rail, my All Saints little silky dress because it's so lightweight, it's so minimal. That are some little strappy, barely bare sandals for a wedding, I think would look really stunning. Um, so, yeah. Keep that as a little backup. And, uh, and then my Saint Sophia clots, which again, I'm yet to wear out, so you've still got the label in, because I've just been wearing them like that. <laughs> in fact, I'll take the label off, it does need to be on there. Share these, I share these in the video? Or did I share them on my Instagram? Either way, we'll try and show a picture of me in them. Oh, these would look nice for this top. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, swimwear, black bikini, every time, or a black one piece, but I personally like a two piece, because I like tan, and also I find my body shape's a bit weird in a one piece, just doesn't feel comfortable. So this one is a lovely, crinkly, like a little high, this is perfect for the sparks, it's like a nice little high waist bottom, and then a lovely crinkle top. That's my little black bikini. Okay, working out in the summer, less, just less. Um, if I'm working out at home, I'll probably just wear a sports bra and a pair of shorts. I like these ones from H&M because they have the like cycling short and then they have that little looser layer. So you just don't feel too exposed because running can be, can feel quite exposed anyway when you're running past people. So, um, yeah, and they've got a nice little tie on them. So they're just perfect for running in the summer when the warmer months. And then, yeah, like I said, I just probably wear a little black uh, sports bra if I'm at home. Or if I was out, a loose vest, nothing clingy. Like a nice loose razor back. Those are my H&M shorts. Wonderful Zara slides. I love these because they've got the uh, silver hardware. This makes them look a little bit more dressed up. So these are kind of my more dressy slides. I don't think I've got my Nikes. And I have like my Nike kind of poolside slides. Again, cute pair of trainers. It's all about comfort in the summer, isn't it? You don't really want to be walking around in heels. Um, so these are perfect. A little pair of shorts, even with um, one of the dresses. Something like those two. It's really easy to wear. Are these from Zara as well? I think they've brought these back out. These are so comfortable. I'd love them in black. I think I'd love this to be, to be black. But in the summer, it's fine. I'll uh, overlook that. And they look really nice with blue denim. So if you love your blue denim, but you want to be adding black accessories and a black top, this would be a really cute outfit. So these. Go with everything and go with your shorts, your skirts, your dresses, your jeans, something like that, like a little espadrille sandal. Yeah, these are so comfy, so I'll link those down below. But I think that's everything. Luckily, I've managed to film some cutaways from the book, so you can see how I've used my book to kind of put together my spring summer capsule, capsule wardrobe. In fact, it makes it look a bit prettier. In fact, for aesthetic, I'm just going to take these off. <laughs> so on the occasion that you might want to wear heels in the summer, um, like a wedding, date night, whatever, these are cute. These are really cute. They're not too high. They just slip on, wear them with dresses, jeans, shorts, anything. Colots, really lovely. Really elegant, classic, but with like a little trend, a little nod to a trend with that really cool toe. And yeah, so those are from Topshop. Yeah. It's my spring summer rail. So we've got bodies, kind of vests, crop t-shirts, other t-shirts, shorts, denim shorts, longer shorts, jeans, culottes, what was that wrong per jumpsuit? Dresses, strappy dresses, dressy dresses, denim jackets, leather jackets. And that is me pretty much sorted for summer. And none of that's new. Is anything new? My St. Sophia clots are new. That Arquette t-shirt's quite new. But these are things really that you'll probably already have. Or if you if you get them now they'll last you. So that, that is my all back everything spring, summer capsule wardrobe. Thanks to my book. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to come, oh, now I have to go and sort this out. And this out. There are a couple of pieces I didn't show you, but they're not 
essential. But yeah, anyway, I hope uh, I hope that was fun for you because it was fun for me. <laughs> we'll come over here. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go and I baked a banana bread. My hair doesn't know what it's doing. Yeah, I baked a banana bread and it was delicious. So I'm gonna go have a slice of that. Um, I'm all excited. I don't know what I think it's because it's my birthday tomorrow. Uh, yeah, 33 going on 13. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope we're all keeping well. I've not even mentioned what's going on and that we're still in lockdown and we're in week four. I hope everyone is well. I hope you're all having a great week. Um, and I will see you soon. And when I do see you, I'll be 34. Oh my God, 34. Oh, and I'll probably be hungover. In fact, I might film some on my birthday. We'll see. We'll see how drunk I get, how early I get drunk. I've, I've requested wanting to be woken up with a glass of something fizzy and cake. Because if we're going to celebrate my birthday in lockdown, we're going to do it properly. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And give me a follow on Instagram if you want to see more outfits, more illustrations, more whatever. I can kind of share everything on there now. Um, it's at Sally underscore Faye. I think my blog is literally about to go live. So I'll link that down below if it has gone live. Have a wonderful rest of your day, whatever day it is. And I will see you soon. Oh, if you want to order my book, All Black Everything, then follow the link in the description box and you can use the code thank you 10 for 10% 10 off. And I will be sending them out as soon as I can. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm just trying to think if I can send them out now or not, but they will be signed and packaged by myself lovingly. But. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you soon. Bye.